Sometimes you think you're not going to collect classic tractors, but Will Osmond and your son Camden, you had no tractors not very long ago, and now you got a bunch of John Deere's, don't you? Yes, we do. Why is that? We just came here last year. It all started, and um, it's a longer story, but it started back when I was 14 years old working for the Schwanigers, and we came here last year, and we really liked, just liked the atmosphere, and he showed interest in the tractors, and we started with this 820, and it's been going on ever since. That came up pretty quickly, didn't it? Uh, what is it that Camden really likes about the tractor world? He just likes the old stuff and likes being able to play and, you know, have fun with it and likes the sound of them and just he gets to come out here and do, do his thing. <laughs> and did that take some thought or some convincing for you? Not much. Not much at all. <laughs> it was like, uh, it was very easy. <laughs> Easiest money I ever spent. <laughs> And so you kind of thought back on your days helping friends and neighbors and even coming out to the Tuckahoe show, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. We worked for a big collector, the late Melvin Schwaniger, um, owned Pops Market here in Trap. And um, he he had a vast tractor collection and we worked for him. Um, me and my brother worked for him and we would come up here and that's where it started. You said you started with the 820. Why'd you pick the 820? Um, that was the first tractor that John um, Melvin's son let me drive and I just I fell in love with that tractor instantly. I'd never been around it. My family's always been international or case. So I'd been around those and that, and that was the first John Deere I ever driven was a Green Dash uh, 820 and I just instantly fell in love with the hand clutch, the two cylinder sound and the diesel and the pony start. It was just fascinating to me and it's stuck with me forever. So tell us what year this uh, 820 is, how it's powered, and uh, what it feels like to drive. It's, uh, it's a 1958, which they call Black Dash. Um, it's a pony start and powered by diesel. And I just love how you, I love driving it. We've done a lot of work to get the power steering and all straight on it, but it's a pleasure to drive. It rides down the road really well. We put new tires on it. Um, and most of all, I love the pony start. I'm a, I'm a glutton for punishment with uh, the ponies. <laughs> And back in the day, in 1958, this would have been kind of a Cadillac for a farmer, don't you think? Absolutely. Absolutely. If you had that, you that you were you were a big farmer. <laughs> there weren't many of them in this world or, you know, in this area. But yeah, you were you were a big farmer. Do you have a sense of the power when you're behind the wheel up in the seat? Absolutely. Absolutely. I love it. You know, I love how you can just feel the each cylinder hit. I love it. She just and even when it sits there and idles, the hop, you know, I love it. Love everything about it, the smell. So Will, when you brought the 820 home, what kind of shape was it in and what did you have to do to it? It was pretty decent. Pony motor didn't run very well. We had a little trouble with that. We needed tires, front end was very loose and power steering leaked. So minor stuff really, I didn't know when we bought it, but all in all, I got pretty lucky on this one. <laughs> got really lucky. You did and Camden got lucky as well. Camden, tell us a little bit about what you think of the 820 tractor that's now part of your family. I love it because it rides good and it sounds good. How does it sound? Very good. <laughs> <laughs> what is it that you really like about John Deere tractors? They ride good and they sound good. Yeah. And do you have your eye on any more tractors that you kind of want your dad to add to his collection? Yes. <laughs> Anything special? Indeed. <laughs> Indeed. What do you like uh, when you're hanging out with your mom and your dad and your sister and everything when you're at a big tractor show like here at Tuckahoe? Um, I like it because I get to drive around tractors with my family. That's awesome. Thanks, Camden. So, Will, uh, your whole family really is here at the show, right? The last few days and you brought a big bunch of John Deere tractors. What do you guys really enjoy about this atmosphere? We like history. I've always liked preserving the history of where we come from. You know, as America, we were majority of a, you know, agricultural nation. And I think it's important to keep a lot of these things going, you know, and this strikes our, you know, interest. So we keep the John Deere thing going. And you told me that Camden is eight years old and you guys are now starting to collect tractors together. It's uh, something you guys can do for a good long time. Absolutely. Absolutely. It's been hard. We've uh, last year we had no tractors to bring here and currently we have seven <laughs> and counting. <laughs> Your hobby's making a little work for you. 
a lot of work, a lot of work, but it's a labor of love. <laughs> we love it and we spend a lot of time and it's been good for him learning wrenches sizes. And, you know, it's just, I did the same thing in the same shop with my grandfather and it's, it's been fun, very rewarding. Yeah. Well, thanks for sharing the story of your John Deere tractor. Thank you. Thanks for having us. Yeah. Appreciate it. Camden and Will Osmond from right here in Maryland, and they have John Deere fever. They're just getting started with their collection, but it's growing fast. Thanks for catching Classic Tractor Fever. If green is your scene, be sure to check out these other classic stories. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button to keep those classic tractor stories rolling.